Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's GSA SER tutorial video, I'd like to share with you step-by-step -step on how you can start creating .gov and .edu backlinks for any site that you want. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to point out if you want the entire walkthrough step-by-step -step with a massive list, massive list, millions of links, I actually have a training that you can go and check out at seomastermind.org. With that out of the way, let's get directly into the tutorial. So this is GSA Search Engine Ranker. Within GSA, this is the user face. You have your projects here. You have your new, edit, delete options, and then the start tab. All right, before you can start building .edu and .gov backlinks, the very first thing is you have to create a brand new project. So let me show you briefly. I'm just going to briefly breeze through this. The first thing that you have to do before you can start building these links is you have to go ahead and check these different types because we want to be able to build these anywhere. So you have to fill out all of your details for each of the different types, whether it's going to be a forum, a guest book, an image comment, an article, a blog comment. All right, you have to fill out these details so you can start building backlinks on the different types of platforms that are .edu and .gov. Now, once you fill out all of the details properly, all right, the very next step is, of course, you're going to go ahead and fill out all of your proxies, but let's get into where the juice is. Let's get into the most important part. So you have your project, and in the left-hand side here, it's listed inside of the project window. Once you're inside your pro project window, you will want to go ahead and open up your project. So let's say we've already filled out all of our details. All right, as you can see here, I've checked everything. I filled out all of my details. The next step that you'll want to do is inside of your project data, you'll want to click on options. Once you're inside of options, the very next step is go down to the very fourth to the fourth column. All right, so you have how to submit and verify, how to get target URLs, all right? The very next one is scheduled posting, and then you have filter URLs, all right? So what we want to do is we actually want to set up a filter so we only find and get and build and create .edu and .gov links. So as you can see inside of filter URLs, what we need to do here is we want to come inside of here and we actually want to go ahead and create a domain filter. As you can see here, it says skip sites with the following words in the URL, or you can create a domain filter. It's over here on the right-hand side. Click on create domain filter. Once you click on create domain filter, what type of filter do you want? This box pops up, as you can see here. So we actually want to create a must-have filter. All right, so that's right here. So click on must-have filter. Once you click on the must have filter, you are brought to a magnitude of different options. Now stick with me. I have an extra bonus for you that I want to share with you. So as you can see here, what we're looking for is it must have, we're going to scroll on down to .edu, A, B, C, D, E. All right. So we're going to go to .edu. All right. Bear with me here. I got something special for you. All right. So dot edu let me find it there's a lot of options within this tool there's so much to choose from all right but we're looking for dot edu specifically so as you can see here we have dot edu okay so we chose the dot edu but we also want perhaps to have dot gov so let me go ahead and show you that all right and if for some reason yours does not show it okay so you have dot got and dot gov now, once you've created must-have filters, I want you to pay close attention to exactly what has been created, all right? So let's go ahead and scroll down into here, and as you can see here, it says D colon, exclamation, okay, comma, edu, exclamation, period, gov. Now, these are the filters that you must have have in order to be able to build these particular link types only .gov and .edu. Now I want you to take it a step further and let me go ahead and point this out to you. All right. This is something I wanted to go ahead and add publicly because the training was going through the process, but not to this degree. All right. Like I, I was getting people to, Hey, here's how you build as many links. I covered the .edu, but let me give you this. 
Now, if you come out here, there's actually a different, there's a magnitude of different types of links. So all, how about foreign, uh, edu extensions. All right, so we're looking for foreign edu extensions, okay? So if you take a look, all right, let's do a list of list of all foreign.edu URL extensions, all right? If you go looking hard enough, all right, so in internet country domains list, TLDs, world standards okay so this is just one option i want you to click on this so f and we're going to click dot edu now you have eus ebu there's so many different options there's so many and all i want to point out i can't find the current list i've seen the list in the past i might even have a copy of it on my other work computer but if you get going through all of the different types I would venture to guess that if you go looking, you can have a .edu.uk or maybe .ca, all right? You might be able to find different countries with .edu and .gov. That's really what I want to point out to you. Now, my name is Chris Palmer. If you have questions related to GSA, how to build EDU backlinks, how to create backlinks, how to build backlinks, really anything at all, Always feel free, go ahead and ask in the section below, and I always look forward to seeing you in the next GSA SCR, how to create and build.edu and.gov backlinks. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.